everyone i hope all of you are doing great and first of all i really want to thanks everyone who's watching my videos we just hit 10k even though it took like one years to reach to this point but i really appreciate from where we have reached as of now so the agenda of this video is going to be that we are going to learn how to scrape messages from any telegram group and the reason why i'm creating this video is that i have been receiving many uh, many many requests on telegram and also on instagram messages that people wanted to know how they can scrape all the messages uh, which has been sent in any particular telegram group and mostly all of these requests are coming from uh, some crypto owners or someone who wants to promote their crypto uh, so all of these requests is basically whichever is coming is coming from these people and i thought of really just creating a, a video series where i'm going to answer all of these questions and i'm going to actually create uh, videos uh, in which using which we they can learn how to achieve all of these things because it's really difficult for me to answer uh, everyone individually and also when i answer everyone individually again all of them are at different expertise levels so do, do not understand this in much detail so having a video is going to make their life easier so in this video what we are going to do is uh, let's say we have couple of crypto groups and from there we want to just scan through all the messages which is being sent on those groups and then we want to put all of these messages in let's say in a csv file or in an excel file so that's what the goal of this video is going to be so let's open pycharm again first thing which we need to do is uh, we are going to use a telethon in this video so make sure you have telethon client installed so just if you do not have telethon installed all you need to do is you can go to terminal if you are on pycharm just write pip install telethon okay so it's pip install telethon and then you can hit enter telethon is going to get installed and after you do that you can uh, you can write from telethon.sync import telegram client now after you do this we also need to actually have api id and api hash uh, in order to have api id and api hash you can go to my my.telegram.org so once you go to this website you will be able to sign up and you will have to provide your mobile number once you provide your mobile number using which you have registered to telegram after that they are going to actually give you api id and api hash so that's the api id and api hash which you can copy from there and you can paste it here okay so this is not my complete api id and api hash i'm just uh, putting some random number here to show it to you but you are going to get api id and api hash which you can put here okay uh, just make sure you do not share API ID or API hash with anyone otherwise they'll be able to misuse or they'll be able to basically your telegram account is going to get compromised they might be able to even delete your uh, telegram account as well so just make sure you do not do that okay so let's uh, start this pro uh, program and let's go through line by line so what I have done here is I just imported telegram client and I have also imported a couple of more uh, libraries. Uh, one is Datetime and other one is Pandas. So we will need this. We are going to need Pandas uh, in order to keep all the messages in, in a CSV or in an Excel file. And Datetime just using it probably, if, let's say we want to just uh, change any date and time, we are going to use this for that purpose. And I'm just gonna clear it a bit so this is our api id and api hash okay and what i'm going to do is actually i'm going to load this api id and api hash from a configuration file because i do not really want to show my actual api id or api hash to you guys okay so that is quite understandable so i have notes here where i have already written code in order to read this from a configuration file okay but eventually what i'm doing here is i have a file which is called telethon.config which is this file and inside this i have my api id and api hash stored so i'm reading api id and api hash from this file and then i'm putting it uh, in these variables api id and api hash okay but you can actually put uh, like i shown you you can actually write api id and api hash key directly here and you don't need to use these lines of codes okay so once it is done we are creating a client uh, tell we are creating a client object telegram client object and from here on we'll be able to do other stuff okay so i'm just going to create a list which is going to be which we are going to call uh, chats you can probably call it groups so these are the groups from which we want to read all the messages 
okay one group is called crypto dubai 7 other one is veracity official okay these are just some random uh, random crypto groups which i am using here okay so veracity official is for veracity group so here you can see there are so many messages which is being sent and sometimes you do not really want to you know go through each of these messages you just want to do some analysis you want to see there is you know uh, you want to see uh, probably if some sort of word exists in these in these uh, chats or not okay so in order to do those kind of analysis you might want to put all of these data in a csv file or excel file and then do further analysis so i have just given name of two groups here but you can give the name of as many groups as you want or probably if initially we may just uh, begin with one group so i'm just going to remove this one and let's or let me do one thing i'm just going to copy it and comment this one and we are just going to initially we are going to use it only for one group which is veracity official and then i'm going to show you how it's going to work for other groups remember if you put more groups here again it has to go through all of these groups and it is going to pull the message or going to scrape the message from all of these groups so the program is going to take little more time in order to finish the program okay or in order to pro uh, run through all of these groups so let's begin with the program uh, we are i'm just going to copy paste everything here so i can just run you through what we are doing here so here we are creating a data frame okay it's not containing anything it's just a data frame empty data frame as of now and then what we are doing here is we have started a loop we are saying for chat in chats so these are the no chats which we want to go through uh, so it's just going to loop through each each chat one by one each chat groups one by one and then we are opening a telegram uh, client object here and inside this what we are doing here is we are iterating through all the messages of that particular group okay so it's just going to run this for veracity official and what we are doing here is we are iterating through all the messages which is available in that group and how many messages we want to iterate through because for example there might be some of the groups which is running from years or maybe five years you don't want to uh, you don't want to scrape, scrape all the messages which is available in last five years okay so in that case what you can do is you can provide an offset date so offset date is for example going to be any date uh, from which you want to read messages from okay so here in this case I'm just saying that offset date is going to be today's date. So I just, I'm interested in reading messages from today's date only. Okay. And here you need to make sure you are giving reverse equal to true. If you do not give reverse equal to true. So what it is going to do is it is going to read all the messages, um, all the previous message, messages starting from today. But if you give reverse equal to true, it's going to read only the message which came after today's date. So that's the purpose of this. Now this is print message, I'm just printing this just to show you what is the kind of output which we are receiving and after that what we are doing is we are creating a dic dictionary and from this message which we are actually receiving, I'm going to show you output, it is going to be clear. So this message contains lots of things, okay. So from this message we are actually interested in, let's say we are interested in only in a group name, we are interested in who is the sender who is sending the message and then we are interested in the actual message which has been sent and also we want to know at which date time the message was sent. So these are things which we are capturing from this message and then we are putting it in a dictionary and from that dictionary we are then converting it into a data frame and that's all is happening here okay and then uh, once everything or uh, once we have all the data we are just uh, so if you see here date format is just uh, just in a different time zone so we are just doing tz localize to change the date uh, date time to to the current time zone and then uh, what we are doing here is we are writing the file uh, we are creating an excel file and that excel file is going to be under c drive crypto uh, crypto folder you can just give whatever location you want to give and then i'm calling this file data underscore uh, here i'm putting the today's date time dot xlsx okay so the file is going to be in this directory i'm just going to remove this file which is already available so we are going to run it again and then the file should get created here okay now let me run it and we'll see how it's going to work so i'm just right clicking i'm clicking on run scrape telegram messages 
and you can see the program execution has started these are all the messages which it is reading from this veracity official group so let's try to understand uh, one of the message okay so let's say this is uh, this is what actually you are getting each line is one message so if you see in this message we have lots of things we have message id we have information about date time we have actual message which is you know the actual text which is being sent uh, which has been sent in this group and there are so many other things okay from which uh, who is the user id uh, we have whether it's a reply whether it's a media we have so many things which is which is available here okay so that's the reason i just let's say we are interested in only these set of information so we are pulling these information from this message we are not interested in everything okay so since the program has executed it should have been able to create a file here which we can see file has been created so let's open this file and let's see what is the data which we have in this excel file okay so as we we saw we, we pulled the data from veracity official so we can see the group name is veracity official these are the people ids who have been sending this uh, this text so this is the text which has been sent and also the last column is date and time so it is showing you at what date and time this message was being sent okay so let's do one thing let's verify a couple of messages very quickly I'm just going to go to the end and let's open here in telegram as well so let's see whether we receive these messages please write to support at veracity for assistance yeah you can see we have received these last two messages okay so it has it has read all the messages starting from today until now okay but if you want uh, if you want probably a uh, message from last 5 days or last 3 days you can go to this program and you can pass a different offset here okay so here i am passing today's date but you can pass a different date and then it is going to scrape all the messages starting from that day until now and now let's just quickly run this program for multiple groups and let's see how it's going to be looking like so you can run it for as many groups as you want now i'm going to remove this and i'm going to uncomment this one so this program is going to run for multiple groups you can let you can run it for as many groups as you want there is no limitation i'm just going to run it again and this time it's just going to take little bit longer because now it has to pull the data from both the groups and going to put it in the excel file okay so my older excel file has been uh, overwritten with this new excel file so i'm just going to open this new excel file now and this time we should be having data for two groups okay here you can see we have data for uh, crypto dubai 7 group and then if you just scroll down you can see we have data for veracity official as well so this pretty much sums up our video Uh, on this topic now in next uh, in next videos we are going to learn many other stuff as well so for example people are interested in how to scrape all the all the members from any particular telegram group so we are going to learn that stuff and also then probably we we are going to learn how to how to you know do some uh, web scraping on coin market cap and then how to identify their telegram owners and how to message them separately okay so stay tuned if you are interested in this kind of video so that's all in this video guys that's all i had for now see you again in the next video